come in, come in, you're welcome. My name is Precious Atigolo. I am from Nigeria. I've been in Malta for four years now. June 16 will make it four years I've been in Malta. And um, I'm still an asylum seeker, I'm still hoping for a positive reply. Before I became a mom, I did um, the care for the elderly and I have my results. I even did um, the 300 hours which I was requested to do. When doing such calls, your major concern is how you can be able to impact in people's life. How you can do it with all your heart and just make them feel at home. I have been there before and I really loved it and um, I can't wait to get in there again. Talking about the elderly, those are the set of people that um, I, I love them so much. Um, because I grew up um, staying with my grandma. So she was old and there are some kind of things she does that no one can do, you know. Um, like they say, when they're getting old, they start behaving like babies and those attitudes just sometimes keeps you laughing even when you're supposed to get angry with the way they behave and everything. So having that in my mind and um, when I lost her, I feel that I feel so much pain because mm -hmm. I find that there was no one that can be in that space, you know. Yeah. She was that um, she was that funny type that it came to it came to a, 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 a certain age even when she's eating she tell you she's not eating since morning you know <laughs> so even when you're supposed to get angry you find yourself laughing you know yes. so and i also did um um auxiliary notes back home mm -hmm. so with everything i got i i i actually wanted something that can match up with the way i love that girl so over here in Malta, I was told you have to go through some process before you can get into the nursing one. And I, I was so glad to pick up um, the course for the elderly because I know it's also my dream job. It's also something that I really want to do. I have um, visited Matuskala for, let me say, some years back. And I find that it's a place, it's a very quiet area in the in the city and it's a it's a place that um, you can just feel like you feel you feel the nature the fresh air from the from the sea and everything it's something it's a place where I really love so um, I've been here now for like a year plus there are lots of um, gardens you can go with the babies and even the, the water side, sometimes when you're bored, you can just go there and you have a lot of fun with people coming around, you know, okay. it's a nice place. I love the, um, I love the food. I have tasted the soup severally, but I am not sure of the names. <laughs> but talking about the drink, I love Guinea because um, they eat one of their best drinks so far. So. I, I have tested it and I love I loved it. So that's the only drink I think uh, uh, when you as a motif, that's what they, they before picking up any other drink, that's what comes to their mind. Okay. So they loved it so much and <laughs> I think it's nice. Not yet, but I do I do try to see if I can get um, get along online. At times I just sit down and go through multi some um, classes like um how to speak and what you should reply, you know. Like um, I think um, there was there is one they say um, Kefinti, like how are you <laughs> yeah. and um, Grazi Afna. Like I have um, one or two words about it, but I'm not that. I'm still hoping to learn more because as a an immigrant here, it's it's a compulsory. You have to learn. It's sure you have to learn. 